Uh, yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of excitement about Android. Uh, I think the, uh, uh, there has been excitement for a while, but I think with the latest batch of devices that you're seeing uh, coming out, like the Droid and, and so forth, uh, uh, there's, I think it's, it's really growing. So. Do, you feel, do you feel that Google has a place in the premium market? I mean, right now it's all very low to mid-tier. These are not premium experiences, generally speaking, uh, or how they'd be considered. Do you feel like there's a place in the future for you to compete in the premium market? Uh, sorry, premium... The premium market, device market, oh. um, yeah, I mean specifically with, with uh, Chrome OS and, and Android. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I think that this, uh, once again, a technical, there's nothing, there's no technical, there are no technical limitations in Chrome OS from it being used on large or more... Yeah, no, no, I mean, I mean specifically for Google in terms of market marketing and building a product that drives a premium experience, something that people would actually want to compare it side to side with, you know, the latest, what have you, Apple piece, uh, Apple Windows PC. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't think we're viewing Chrome OS as a sort of poor man's OS. It's just easier to manage. Well, I mean, one of the things that was mentioned was that it's assumed that you have another machine, that you wouldn't really want this to be your only box. I, I think that today, uh, and, uh, and no to speak more to this, uh, uh, upon the first release, uh, I don't think we want to inherit all the legacy things that people sort of uh, want to support. And, uh, you know, and typically, uh, the early adopters are going to have those other machines. So that's an easy way to solve that problem. Uh, I think over time, you'll see a lot of those capabilities, at least, you know, the the ones that are looking to make it into the future, you'll see, you'll see the migrated.